It was beyond anything else in this realm. It was the ultimate source of power. Though things seemed fine at first, the survivors of the war soon realized the eternal conflict within it. They knew this conflict would cause it to grow ever more unstable, and that it was not something that could be handled by mankind. With the Holy Beast's assistance, the kins of fire and earth joined together to see the Great One sealed away. However, each of their attempts ended in failure. Left with no other options, they resorted to their final plan. The Great One would remain whole in the higher plane, yet its physical incarnation in this world split into numerous shards. It was this final gambit that saw disaster averted. Indeed, their combined efforts bore fruit. The Kin of Earth created seven vessels, while the Kin of Fire split the Great One's power and infused each vessel with a part of it. Seven dolls in the form of knights, each bearing the Great One's power. The Divine Knights. Nine hundred years ago, Heimdall was a small city of only about 50,000 people. However, it was one of the burgeoning centers of culture for the region. The Septian Church had finished construction on the Heimdall Cathedral, and there were plans to develop the city even further. But it was then the Dark Dragon appeared, blanketing Heimdall in miasma and transforming it into a city of the dead. Emperor Astorius chose to lead his people south and made St. Art the new capital of Erebonia. In helping Emperor Astorius deal with this crisis, the Hexen clan and gnomes each suffered substantial losses. The Hexen clan lost its elder, and the gnomes their holy beast. And so ended their alliance. The final time they spoke would be a century later, it was when Emperor Hector awakened the Vermilion Knight to reclaim Heimdall from the Dark Dragon. He did so at the urging of the Chief of the Gnomes and the new Elder of the Hexen Clan, myself. However, the Emperor fell to the Dark Dragon's miasma and the Vermilion Knight to its curse. The Emperor's son had the Chief of the Gnomes and myself seal the cursed knight deep below the Imperial Palace. That would be the last act our two clans performed together. I do not know why, but the gnomes cut off contact with our clan and hid themselves away. In the 800 years that followed, whenever war struck Erebonia, a divine knight would enter the stage, demonstrate its might, then vanish. I was certain the gnomes were involved, yet all we could do was guide Awakeners on the proper course. This unending pattern reached its most fevered peak 250 years ago during the War of the Lions. 
The false Emperor Orthros unearthed the cursed Vermilion Knight, and a mercenary under Prince Lucius' employ awakened the Palatinate Knight. Prince Dreykels found the Ashen Knight, and Leanne the Argent Knight. The four awakened at once, made for a grand war indeed.
When the sacrifice is made and the ancient blood flows, the path to the Grawl of Erebos shall open. When the tainted holy beast is pierced by the blade of world's end and its blood fills the Grawl, the great twilight shall fall upon the land. You say? Is something the matter? <sighs> oh? You realize something? Right now, we need any straw we can grasp at. Anything at all could help, no matter how small. Yes, you're right. That term... Originator Zero... Could that be OZ, perhaps? That's what the Black Workshop called Milliam and Altina. They're model numbers. OZ. Oh, what are you talking about? So you finally made it. That voice. Vita! Ah, so the prodigal granddaughter returns. Misty, d uh, Vita! I heard you had been acting on your own. <laughs> nice to see you again, Grandmother. Emma, Celine, and Class 7, too. And thank you for mediating, Mr. Lysander. Oh, don't even mention it. It always breaks my heart to see a family torn apart so. Vita! Why? You really don't plan on ever coming back, do you? That's correct. As I said before, my allegiance will forever lie with the Grandmaster. I can't return to you and Grandmother. I can never go back to the way I used to be. Just like the Steel Maiden. Uh. 
Seriously, who even is this Grand Master person? Hm. I have no clue. But it is clear she is quite taken with them. So do tell, Vita. If you have not decided to return to us, why show yourself now? Has Ouroboros finally decided upon its course of action? Yes. After our experiments with the Three Ions, the six other Anguists came to a unanimous decision. They decided to ignore my warning. They will work with the Chancellor and the Gnomes to bring about the Great Twilight, completing the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. <gasps> Th that's... So that's how it is. The reason Ouroboros was so quiet the past month wasn't because they left Erebonia. It was to carry out their plan, and determine whether they should work alongside enemies and traitors. How can that be? I if that were the case, it means... They're all our enemies? Is this? It's not the Cathedral's bell. Huh? I think I recognize it from Crossbell. You do? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I remember hearing it right before the incidents in Crossbell, when we were still independent. Oh! The one from the museum! The bell from Stargazer's Tower? But the sound's coming from a different direction than the museum. <laughs> the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. What a fitting name. I wonder how much of this she foresaw. That is quite enough mumbling to yourself! If you know what is going on, show us! It'll be a bit tough without Grianos. I'll need your help, Grandmother. Emma, Celine, you too. Yes! Ugh, I'm not your slave! Now then, let's say we celebrate the continuation of the Phantasmal Blaze plan by ringing in the Great Twilight. I, Enforcer Number Zero, the Fool, shall play the opening note.
Check that out! Huh. Sure is something. Well, how about that? So, the beginning of the end, is it? Huh. <laughs> Deja vu. <sighs> the Grawl of Erebus. Just as the Black Records foretold. The crypt where the great power will be reborn. Huh. Reen. Eusis. Couldn't have guessed this is how my day would turn out when I woke up this morning. Let us begin. It is time. Chief of the gnomes and head of the workshop, show me the way. Black Alberic. As you wish, my lord. Milium. Was that... Allie? Yes. But why? Boss, Zeno, and Leo. Azure Siegfried. Uh, and that guy in the lab coat, isn't that... The Blazing Demon and the Fool were there as well. So that's the Maiden. Why? We just spoke this morning, and... 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 What's going on?! Lisa. That man's name was Lumen or something like that, right? His hair looked different. <laughs> Franz Lumen, The first disciple of G. Schmidt and the deceased husband of the Reinford Group's chairman, also known as Franz Reinford. Ah, so he has been lurking in the shadows these past 20 years. Yes, perhaps for the sake of working with the Chancellor to engineer this very moment. <gasps> Elisa! Snap out of it! Now's not the time! As a bracer, I can't just sit here and let them pull off whatever that Twilight crap is they're planning. How about all of you? She's right. We can't stop here. We gathered together to do whatever we could to help. Our goal remains unchanged. Yep, true. Elisa, let's go. Yeah. Well, Vita. What will you do now? Well, I'd like to charge in there alongside the rest of you, mostly out of spite. Unfortunately, I suspect things won't be quite that easy. What are you- Something's- There's a turbulent swirl in the mana. W was that? I believe so. 
Sir Lysander, Sir Gaius, cryptids and magic knights have appeared all over the city! It appears your suspicion was proven correct, Miss Clotilde. That's... The Partitioner's power. A useful trick indeed. I shall assist with the rest. That's our grandmother for you. Good job, Rosine. Emma, help me! Of course! Incredible! This is what the Hexen Clan and the Grawls Ritter are capable of? Reen! Everyone! It's Elise and Princess Alfin! Wait! Stay back! Watch out! Your Highness! Run! I... I can't leave you here! <sighs> we won't make it in time. Ill-mannered brutes! How dare you threaten these ladies! Patrick! The son of the High Arms family? <sighs> Thank the goddess. Let's finish them! Indeed! You too, Elise. Thank you, Patrick. You really saved the day there. I simply happen to be in the right place at the right time. But what in Idios' name is going on? Uh, does all this have something to do with that bell we heard? In truth... Cedric... Why? Seems like all of Heimdall is like this. The Railway Military Police and the 4th Armored Division have begun to move, but... Damn. We need to keep Her Highness and the others safe. Don't worry. I'll take care of that. I can create a barrier around the girls' school. 
That way, they should be safe from things like magic knights and cryptids. R really That'd be a huge help. Vita! My, my. We were counting on you, but... I suppose we have no other options. Patrick, please, take care of them. After Vita, you'll be the next most skilled combatant guarding them. I shan't let so much as a hair on their heads come to harm. Please be careful yourselves. I never would have thought something like this would happen. All of you, keep your wits about you. Yes, you as well. I promise I'll come back safely. After all, I still need to find out the truth. And exactly how much you know about Sharon and the Black Workshop. Oh. Elisa. My agreement with Sharon was always meant to end the moment he reappeared. The man she fought ten years ago. The one who vanished into the flames he left behind. Hmm? Now that our agreement has come to an end, there's nothing left to tie her down. I'm sure she can return to her former job without a care in her mind. Mother! There are better ways to put it. Schmidt, how much did you know? Nothing more than a suspicion. When I found his notes on the Panzer Soldats, I knew he intended to present them to me as a graduation thesis. Apparently, however, he's become consumed with some ridiculous delusion. So I will see this through to the end. I plan to find out what he intends to do with my third disciple. Uh. So you already knew about George? Yes. I approached him knowing he was from the same place as Franz. The Black Workshop. Headquarters of the Gnomes. Hidden away somewhere in Erebonia. If you're not convinced, then the only thing to do is go hear it for yourself. Sharon's true feelings, and the truth about that man. Of course that's what I'm going to do! Reen, Muse, Yuna, and Kurt, please be careful. We will. You stay safe too. Elise, your highness, may Adios protect you. We'll come back, I promise. So please wait for us. I believe in you, Reen, and everyone else from Class 7. Please, stop Cedric and the others. As you wish. I swear it on my honor as a noble, and even more, as a member of Class 7. We shall put a stop to that bell and its grim tolling. Vita, please take care of things here. Of course. Once this is all done, let's have a talk. Just the two of us. Consider it my way of apologizing for avoiding you for so long. Uh. <laughs> I'd like that. But I won't hold my breath. Oh my. Hm. You reap what you sow, Vita. Well, well. It seems Emma has matured enough that she can see right through her secretive sister's lies. Oh, you're one to talk, Grandmother. <laughs> wow! So this is what the second Anguis can do. Very well. We are now ready to depart. Indeed. Let's be off. Rosine, please take care of things here. Yes. I'll try to get in contact with Sir Hemisphere somehow. Reen, Gaius, everyone, stay safe. You too! Thank you. All right! Let's go! To the Imperial Villa. No, the Grawl of Erebos.
injured. <laughs> this kind of stuff is what gets you the big time awards. No way I'm gonna let my chance get away. Here, Hugo. You didn't have a hand in all this, did you? Of course not, is what I'd like to say. But I can't deny this is the sort of crisis they would engineer. What's that supposed to mean? Halt, fiend! Uh. It's the 4th Armored Division! Ah! Yeah! Too weak! The Central Boulevard is now secure. However, it seems the threat is still spreading across all districts. We received a report that something's happened to the Corel Imperial Villa. All units, break into three regiments! We'll each move to different parts of the city. Nightheart, contact both Thor's campuses. Understood. Warrant Officer Allen, you... Huh? What was that? What in Adios' name? Those look just like the thing that showed up in the old schoolhouse. Damn it! Out of the way! Oh no! Look out! Kai! Matthew! Run away, you two! Quit trying to show off, idiot! It's you guys! The Bracer Lady, too! Everyone okay? Leave it to us! We must rid ourselves of this trash at once. I'll partition us off to limit the damage. No need to hold back, ladies and gentlemen. You have our thanks. We'll have this place cleared out in an instant. Class 7, old and new, prepare for combat. Yeah! yeah! That's a strong one. Let's kick its ass! My mind is clear. My blade, empty. Now!